Okay, so we are back at it again, and what it is. Today we are going to talk about something that happened a couple of weeks ago. It happens to every everybody that owns a car here in Sweden. I don't know if it happens to people in Britain or in Spain or but it's something that every car owner is terrified and it happens every year to everyone. Which is besiktning. <laughs> Besiktning is something that is a, it's basically a tryout for your car and they check your car if it has problems and they check the car if it has problems. This was pretty special or this occasion was pretty special to me because the week before I was on Besikni, uh my car broke down. <gasps> because it was too cold. The battery froze, I think. We don't know. If we think that the battery froze and then it got... Yeah, the car didn't start. That's the point. When I got to like the place where you where you have Besikni, I I was pretty nervous, but I I mean, I it didn't show at all. But when I pulled up, I was like I was I was feeling pretty confident like in myself not in the car this guy who was checking out or like who was going to check my car he was really nice and he was like oh hello how you doing and I was like well uh, I mean I'm doing pretty good and uh, if you want to take a look at my car you can just do that and he was like yeah well uh, yeah and so I uh, I went to the it went into the garage. When I got there, I stepped out of the car, and then he, the guy who was going to check my car, he offered me coffee, or like he said, "Oh, there's a room um, in the back where all the guests are, and you can you can just grab a coffee or something, and then you can you can wait for me to get done." And I was like, "Okay." Uh, sh I, I will just leave it leave this to you and I will not disturb you in any way yeah you you can come back it's okay I mean it's fun with some uh, with some company all right yeah sure whatever you say I grab a coffee just like for courtesy basically because I really don't like coffee or tea I tried cappuccino though and cappuccino with hazelnut flavor drink that. I got a coffee and then I went back. Then he was just checking the lights basically. He was checking the uh, the engine and the oil and so on. And then he rolled the car forward to to like an elevator thing where you can elevate your car on so it goes higher so you can check under the car. while I was drinking my coffee that I didn't enjoy. When he got done with that, he was like, yeah, I'm just gonna go out for a test drive with this and after that we are, we're done. And I was sitting there, yeah, sure, go, go for it. And uh, after a while, he he came by the house and went into a, uh, through a door, and it, it was across the room. So he was screaming to me, "Yeah, now it's done, and uh, it, it it looks fine." Okay. <laughs> uh, how about that? If the car has some problems, it's okay. But if the car has some major problems, that's not okay, and you can't drive your car if it has not gone through the bicycle because the car is not drivable <laughs> I think he took some notes uh, I had some problem with my uh, I had some problems with the car and uh, and then he said just go for it then I went out and drove home so it wasn't like it wasn't a big deal but it broke down again and we were 
400 kilometers away from home. <laughs> and that sucked. And that was the battery struggling again, but we got it fixed, so it's, it's not a problem. I don't really know what to think of my car, and I'm scared to drive to Norway during Easter. Yeah, we will see about that. I think it's gonna work out, but I don't... It's a thousand kilometers to Norway from where, where I live. I really hope it's gonna work. And that was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed my little story. I look forward to see you next weekend. See you later. Bye!